and I've got that oil filled radiator right here radiator radiator I've got that thing set full bore 1500 watts minimum maximum both of them or medium and minimum both of them are set together pushed in and that's full blast yeah I don't like setting it at the low setting or the medium setting I'd rather when it needs heat to have it all there um, it runs hotter it runs quicker so the helix is powering this bad boy right here and what you got here is a floor fan and I've got that fan set I've got little magic marker marks on the floor you can see the red marker right at the edge and that's exactly where I need this fan to be every time I've got it angled just the way I need it it's set it low and what it does is it blows air across the heater which is right here and across the room and up and around it just keeps everything circulating it keeps the temperature in here pretty good I don't have any hot or cold spots everything's pretty even there's my little stool that I stand on to get to the top shelf anyway this is kind of plush nice little spot this right here is how I keep the humidity in my room all that is is a Rubbermaid container filled with fresh water I will put a little pump in there uh, once I get some eggs and that little pump just circulates the water it just keeps the water from getting stale but that is what keeps my humidity up in the room um, I've never used a room without it I'm not sure I even need it but it definitely goes down and uh, I just feel better about having that now what I got here is there's all my plastic and you guys will see what that plastics for once I get eggs is I got ventilated shelving attached to the wall and it's three shelves and that's a ventilated shelving I've got brackets verticals attached to the studs and then the horizontals this thing is built like a brick shit house. I could stack brontosaurus eggs in here and it wouldn't come down so the ventilated shelving is where I'll stack all my eggs once I start getting them and I've got a helix up here on the wall I've got a helix down there I've got a little digital thermometer there I got a digital thermometer there and those guys those digital thermometers have probes I got a Ranko over here and what you'll see is I got probes all over the place there's a probe hanging there's another couple probes hanging I got a little sensor down here and what I do is I monitor the temperature on all these shelves and all kinds of different key points in this room just to make sure I don't have any crazy fluctuations and uh, I've been hatching eggs in this room for years so it's it runs by itself it's on autopilot but I always like to come in here and look at the numbers drop ceiling fluorescent light there got a fluorescent light up here these walls are completely insulated drywalled painted with semi-gloss um, the drywall is mold resistant the paint is mold resistant it's a really nice setup a lot of stuff a lot of cool stuff is hatched out of here and then I got my bat phone that's this phone right here that's when I'm crapping my pants hatching out something crazy and I gotta call somebody or somebody calls me while I'm in here see if I can stand over here at the end and give you guys a good shot you can see the depth of the room so there's the fan and it's blowing air right across that heater sometimes I'll turn that heater to the left so it's broadside and there's the shelves I should get a few dozen clutches that I'm going to talk about this year so you guys will get to see it but as you can see this place is spotless and ready to rock The main thing about a walk-in incubator or any kind of incubator is you got to take the time to tweak it and make sure it is completely ready to rock before you get your eggs. You don't want to get eggs and then start thinking about what the heck your incubator is going to do. You want to know it's right on the money and mine's right on the money. 
so there it is you're not going to see it like this too long empty and ready to go but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this show you how I I do it this room is pretty much 88 to 89 give or take and that works out good my lower shelf is a little cooler than my top shelf and uh, I noticed the top shelves hatch out the babies hatch out maybe one or day sooner than the bottom shelf but it's no big deal and a lot of times I rotate boxes anyway I'll move them around a little bit so this is the walk-in incubator right here is the actual main probe that's the mother probe that's the one that the helix 1500 watt system actually runs off of and then I've got all these other probes beside it just to make sure that the helix is reading the same as all these and pretty much everything's reading the same you can see that maybe you can see it that says 89 you can see that says 89 4 to 90 and that's just because the lights are on and I'm in here sweating my balls off and then you can see over here there's another one that says 90 I've noticed that runs a little high it's not really reading 90 but that's it I should have a clutch the 24th and today is the 16th so once I get a clutch I'll show you guys how I set up the eggs and what that plastic right over there is for and how it's all done RDR walk-in incubator out.